what you got to be so happy about. Hey y'all, Rich here checking out and it's another Happy It's Friday update and I have so much to be thankful for. First of all, I want to thank all of you. Like if you look around me, you can see that I'm in a very well lit room with lots of natural light. So I have to tell you guys, I'm still a little chilly even though we've put in a lot of windows because I've ordered about seven rolls of this felt weather stripping and this is what we've been using on the windows and this really keeps out the cold, but it hasn't come in yet, so I'm actually expecting that delivery today. Now, the brand that you see here is not actually what was available to, uh, for order online, so it was actually, you know, maybe about a dollar more, but not, that's not gonna send us over budget. We can stick that under the miscellaneous and. Really excited that we're gonna be getting this insulation any day now, and once this insulation <laughs> arrives, that will be the finishing touches to keep out most of the cold air. So I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with The Village Voice, but they came out with their best of 2016 edition. Um, this was October 19th through October 25th. So it's not on newsstands now, but you can probably find the articles online. And the theater company that I founded, Falcon Works Theater Company, was listed as the best community theater in New York City, which is a huge plus, given up Falcon Works. So thrilled to all of you who have given to the Winter Is Coming to Alt Space GoFundMe campaign. We are so close to reaching the half way mark. So anybody who makes a contribution by the end of the day, that is midnight Eastern Standard Time, today, November 4th, 2016, you will automatically be entered in a drawing that will happen tomorrow. You will have the opportunity to win one of three sets of coasters crafted from wood, salvaged from the Alt Space house. There will be one person, one name drawn, who will be able to select from all of the t-shirts that I I have worn so far in the Food for Thought series. Now I've told you guys already that a lot of these t-shirts have sentimental value. When you select your t-shirt and when I send it to you, I'll also send you a little letter, a note, telling you exactly what the sentimental value of that particular t-shirt was. After Hurricane Sandy, there were big issues with communication, trying to get emergency relief info to the people who needed it most, and so we realized that we needed some kind of an emergency communication system in that neighborhood, and I was actually one of the organizers who helped to create this thing called the Red Hook Hub. I even drafted the terms of service. So I'm pretty proud of that, and so this t-shirt means a lot to me. It says, get it, share it. On the back, it has logo for the Red Hook Hub. So please, if you are interested in a shirt like this, you can certainly make a donation of $200 and just tell me which shirt that you want this shirt and I'll send it to you. Or you can make any donation and be entered into a raffle and have the chance to win the shirt of your choice from the Food for Thought series. You guys, Ethan got robbed. So Ethan's car was parked outside of my house on Wednesday night. Ethan usually stays at Alt Space on Wednesdays because he lives way out in the burbs. And so he comes on Wednesday night, we go for an early run on Thursday, and then we work here at Alt Space on Thursday. Turns out he got up and we were on our run and he's looking down at the road and he's seeing his own clothing in the road, he realized that his car had been broken into. We went back to the car and saw that it was indeed broken into. They stole a bag of his clothing. Fortunately, there was nothing of great value in the car, so. Whew. So you guys seem to dig my last rant. Loving Atlanta, I believe Loving Atlanta is one of the viewers on the channel who I don't wanna directly quote, but said that my rant was equivalent to my accidentally saying vegan sister instead of vegan sister. So what you trying to say, Loving Atlanta? You trying to say I ain't got soul? You trying to, what you trying to say about me? So what I think Loving Atlanta was so lovingly trying to say was that I am just not the type of person to give shade. But Loving Atlanta apparently is. So join me this Sunday, November 6th for the final pre-election conversation 
on you now. I will be live streaming at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm really hoping to have this discussion focus on the perceptions of people who are not in the United States. So if you're not in the United States and you want to chime in about the election, please join us on Sunday, this Sunday, November 6, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to thank all the guests who joined us last week, Brian from The Onion Night, a privileged vegan, and David Cobb, campaign manager for the Stein Bar Baraka campaign. What else would you like to hear about on this channel? I've talked about politics, I talk about veganism, I talk about race, I talk about social justice. These are all things that are interesting to me, but I'd like to know what's interesting to you. So please do leave your thoughts about that in the comments section below. Also, any information on folks that I've talked about in this video, you'll find that information in the comments section below as well. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself.